going on, people? It's Blue Working here, back with some NASCAR The Game 2011. Today, it is the penultimate race, Phoenix. Uh, this is before the repave, obviously. Technically, this race, in the real-life race, I don't know why I'm saying race so much, but IRL, in real life, this would have been repaved, but it's not in this game. 31 laps, Jeff Gordon on the pole. Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson have been getting on the pole lately. Uh, 26.81, of course, not going to qualify. No assists. And this is it. Like, we we have to get the points lead here. Because I don't... Because then I'm at his mercy of how bad he does. If I have the points lead, all I have to do is just finish in front of him. Which has not been easy for whatever reason uh, in this chase. Because he's technically... I've only won one race, I think. He's won like two or three. Um, so... Let's hope Phoenix, which is a day race this time, even though technically the last race was at like dusk, which is really weird. Let's hope that we do what we did in real life and win this race, because um, we are going to need it. Otherwise, I might not, after all these videos, after months of recording this, I might not win the championship, which, like I'm pretty sure I said earlier, would be hilarious, but would be such a fail. I literally have one bad race out of 35, and I lose... <laughs> Freaking championship, oh my god. Uh, and I'm not good at Phoenix, as you can tell. <laughs> what places is he in? We need him back here with us. He's in ninth. I am so... Why does Phoenix have to be the second to last race? I don't like this track. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I'm not good at it, therefore I don't like it. Especially because that stupid apron that's not supposed to be there. Alright, we're just going to have to go... I'm just going to go past in the grass. I really don't care. I'm not going to do that again, though, because that actually made me very close to spin out. really overdriving, but that's what you have to do, I guess. Come on, Brad. Don't you know who I am? I am Blover King, trying to win a championship, and what do you do? You just stick your nose in there. That was actually a pretty cool camera shot. Uh, why? Okay, did anybody pit? Please tell me Jimmy Johnson pit. That would make my life a lot easier. But he probably did not. If anything, he likes magically gained 10 positions. Ooh, making the high side work. Kind of. Alright, teammate. As I plow into the back of you, I was going to say give me some room, but... Little too late for that. Ooh, they're checking up. Let's just let's just ride it. Shoot the gap. Ooh, they're wrecking back there. Ooh, sucks for David Gilliland, I think. He was still on the 38 at that point. Ooh, Jimmy's just four cars in front of us, at least on the high side. We're so close. Like I said, we just... We have to finish either five positions ahead of him, or like him, him finishing like third and me winning. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, though. So I would like to have, I get the very least, like a five point cushion, but that might be asking for too much with the way my chase is gone. I still can't get over freaking Texas. I was right there. I actually passed him, but then I, I just sided for one freaking lap. Like, let's try the bottom and turns one and two. Oh, that was not a good idea. And then, yeah, the rest is history at this point. 
even though it's very fresh in my mind, because like I said in the Martinsville video, I'm recording these all in a row. So technically, before we even post the Martinsville race, like I will know if I win the championship or not, but you guys will not, so haha. -ha. I'm glad we're at least in the top 15, because I expected worse. I'm pretty sure that's just because tire wear was not was making my car not handle well in the first race, because I know for a fact I had that at like times three or four. Oh yeah, we're fast. Hey Denny, remember me from last week? Yeah, it would not be smart to get into it with another driver right now, because we're right behind Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I was going to try to get on the outside of him there, but I got in the gas too early. Sorry, dude. You guys just break way earlier than I did. Okay, so we're by him. That's good. God, I'm nervous for Homestead, because I just don't race at that track often, especially on this game. I don't even remember the last time I've raced at that track on this game. He needs to get passed by some more cars. Come on, Tony. I'm your buddy, aren't I? Let me go. Ooh, my leg itches. They itch at the worst possible spot where I'm supposed to be getting back on the gas. I was hoping he was going to get past. The car is definitely good. Probably good enough to win. It's just a matter of if I can get up there or not. Can they stop? How come their brakes are better than mine? Pretty sure there was no upgrades in this game. So I couldn't make my brakes better. Sorry, Kurt. Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch are still mathematic mathematically in the hunt, but after today, they will not be barring complete insanity, which would not make me happy. Though that would also involve Jimmy finishing bad, so that would actually be kind of funny. Where is he? Okay. Ooh, that was a very disgusting turns three and four. I, like, didn't slow down enough at all. That was a really good turns one and two, though. Let's see if we can get underneath Clint here. Maybe pass Kyle as well. There we go. I think about this point, we officially have regained the points lead over Jimmy. Let's pat it.
Inside one, inside. You got a really good bite off that corner. Alright, so Jimmy is still in 10th, which is both good and bad. I was hoping he'd get passed by a couple cars, but it's not gonna happen. If anything, he's going to pass more cars. Oop, I guess I'm going for the lead. Nope, I guess not anymore. It's weird how, like, they break so hard in turns one and two. But three and they turn three not quite as much Ooh, I forgot I really got that bonus point for leading a lap let's get the high side here here we go Ooh, there we go cool we in the lead did not expect that for Phoenix. I don't really, like I said, I didn't know what to expect because this was one of the few tracks we did not run uh, without tire wear, at least not as bad as what it was. So all that was in my mind was like that 18th place finish that I got. And I was like, geez, if that happened, like, that would have sucked. So let's say Jimmy Johnson finishes in 10th, kind of where he was running. I finished 18th. That means he has a 12 point lead over me, which with the way he's been running like I would have had to win the race and all he needed to do was finish like ninth or better or the eighth or better and he could have won the championship so let's hope these last like five or six laps that does not occur to where we have a flip of fortunes no cautions please by the way Ooh, I'm not really pulling away from him Very solid run through up the uh, run up the pack though. Reminds me of uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, at New Hampshire in both races, it was at the very end that I caught the front of the pack. Here, I had a little bit of time to spare. Tires are giving up. Let's hope this is not a repeat of Martinsville. All right, I'll definitely put a gap on Jeff. Ooh, and Jimmy's right behind Tony Stewart. You can see him back there. Let's hope he doesn't pass him. Not in the last two laps. Okay, white flag. Just one more good lap. Don't care if this if it's the fastest. Just needs to be clean and without me slowing down. It looks like Tony's gonna hold off Jimmy. Ooh, here we go. Woo! Ah, that takes quite a bit of pressure off me for the final race. Getting that win. That was a big one, too.
because it was looking pretty dire for for a minute there. Because going to a mile and a half track for the last race, like I love the mile and a halfs, but like you saw at Texas, without that caution, I don't I don't think I would have been able to to even finish second in that race. So. If it came down to Homestead with me having to beat Jimmy Johnson, uh, that might not have been good, like, at all. Because if he would have been on the pole, uh, he could have easily just dominated that race, and I could have done nothing about it, pretty much. So, well, I actually ended up perfect, like, right at the flag stand, getting the checkered flag. Um, nonetheless, we got the win. I'm trying to think of how many points. I'm probably going to be ahead of him by, like, eight or something like that. I don't know if I led the most laps, that's the only thing. Uh, let's skip the celebration. Uh, scoot forward here. Sit back and relax a little bit. Uh. Man. Can't believe it's come down to this, because I, I didn't think this was going to happen. Ooh, with it. Skip button is tempting. But I don't want to skip over or anything. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the results. Come on. Here we go. So I got the win. Oh, I definitely did not. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought it was in the running for most lap sled. Jeff Gordon definitely had it. Uh, but still, overall, really good race. I'm glad I was able to get the win. Jimmy did end up behind Tony Stewart, so he finished 10th, so not a good day for him. Thank God for us, though. It looks like Danica Patrick is still making that run at the Women's Championship. I'm actually interested to see what it's going to be at. Ah, nine points. So, I have to finish... Oh, God, I don't know. Wait, so you can get... 48 points it looks like total so I would need to finish oh my god math and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning why am I doing this to myself fourth to lock it up I'm just gonna say fourth <laughs> I really don't know and Brian Vickers Looks like he's probably going to finish last in the points, but or at least in the chase points, but whatever. Let's go see. Let's go see the women. Jennifer Joe, Danica Patrick. Ooh, she's narrowed it down to, what is that, 30 points or something like that? So, <laughs> mathematically, she could take over Jennifer Joe Cobb. Oh, that'd be hilarious if at the very, like, Jennifer Joe just dominates that whole thing until, like, the last race of the year and gets taken over. Ah, uh, that would be funny. Oh, this was a short race. It's only been, like, 18, almost 19 minutes. I think it's, like, 14. Sweet. I'm so smart. Let's see what the next question is. Oh, Ryan Newman, I think? Back then? Yeah. Ford. Man, I am so smart. They gotta pick up better questions than this. Anyways, alright people, it's down to this. The last race of the year. Next time you're gonna be seeing me, it's homestead time, baby.